For the record, the water does not seem to do any additional damage to it. Dang it. I was hoping to, yeah, find out if that was good. Super or not. effective. I know. I was thinking Pokemon, <laughs> man. I think I will just sort of step forward so that I'm like past Karash, if I'm not already, I suppose. Um, basically, I just want a straight line to the Hydra. Okay. Um, and, and then I'm just Fireball. I'm going to cast Lightning Bolt. <laughs> okay. uh, you can position in such a way so, you don't hit Lena because obviously that's not your intent. So go ahead. That's a dexterity save uh, again. Dex save throw. Uh, that is a 13. I think that's a failure. I believe those are crazy. Yeah, 15. So yeah, I imagine your spell DC is higher than that. Okay. So oh, get that damage. D6. Do better than 20, me. 29 damage. Oh, that's so good. Nice. That's above average for that roll. 26 damage, 29 damage, excuse me. 29 damage. Lightning. Now that it's already sitting on the ground, seemingly trying to get back to its feet and unable to for at least the time being, you unleash an unholy lightning bolt upon it. And it kind of courses through. You can see some of the little tendrils of electricity licking over the surface of this pyrohydra. Um, and one of the heads goes limp. Good. That's good. Seems to be an especially... Well, not a, the head in particular was affected by the lightning, not by a game, a game mechanic, but for flavor such that it was like, uh, and it went, you know. <laughs> uh, Anything else? Action. I don't want to move too much. I don't want to group up by... Am I, how close am I to everyone else? Uh, I'd like, say you're probably I... 10 feet from Lena and another 15 to 20 from Samwell and Isaac. And 10 feet from Karash. <laughs> Maybe 15 from Lena. You have you have space in between all of you. You're not exactly spread out completely yet because you're still on this one side, but you have started to kind of fan out. Um. So let's see here. Isaac went right, right. and Samuel Samuel went, went left. Left. Lena went straight at the gap. And your bird went left. Bird went up left. Yeah, I'm gonna go thirty feet. No, I'm gonna like run towards it until I'm like ten feet away. Let's say 11 feet away. I don't want to get within reach of this thing. <laughs> so 15 uh, then? Whatever. Yeah, sure. Uh, 15 feet away, and then I'm going to use a bonus action to Misty Step 30 feet to the other side of it. So I can be on the opposite side of it. Uh, I will say to do that, you're going to have to get within 10 feet of it, but because it is Misty Step, it's not going to provoke an opportunity attack, so that's still fine. Because okay. to clear this thing, which is a huge monstrosity, you can't be 15 feet away and jump 30 feet and get on the other side of it. You'd be in its last oh, square. I yeah, I see what you're but saying. But okay. because you have enough movement to get a little bit closer to it and then teleport, you don't have to worry about taking attacks from the heads, and you can end up on the other side. It's very amusing okay. for us to watch you run straight at this thing, though. <laughs> yeah. Yes. and then I just What is he doing? Like, and then poof on the other side. He's Naruto <laughs> running towards it and then just poof. <laughs> Jutsu. I dab first, and then I just disappear. And yeah, on. dab on the haters. That's how it works. All right. Uh, that's pretty much all your actions then. So, Karash. Movement. Uh, there is room to stand in front of him. It's it's The, the magma's not an issue right now. Oh, yeah. No, especially because he's in the okay. middle. I mean, he moved a little yeah, bit yeah, yeah. to one side to get towards Isaac, but <clears throat> yeah, it's... Okay. I was not clear on that, and then when she was using the wave, I was like, wait, what? Yeah, she's, okay. You got a good 10, 15 feet before you'd be in the lava, and that's if you're on the side between it and the closest lava. No worries. I'm going to go up into its grill, as it were. Um, grill. I have said that as anybody. Uh, yeah. Uh, going to walk away from that. I'm going to cast Blinding Smite, and I'm going to attempt to blind it with Smite. Uh, and I'm going to be attacking with my mace for once, because I don't want to cut off a head accidentally, apparently. All right. Uh... Oh, Chris, do you care that I casted a spell that wasn't a cantrip as a bonus action on my turn? I was wondering about that, but eh. If not, I can stay in place. I don't mind that's that fine. variant rule because if we have you know fewer encounters, we don't do long, drawn-out days, so sure. Don't care. If I have to stay in place, we can do that too. I have bad news about your 14. Yeah, I figured as much. <laughs> it does not hit. Ugh. Oh, crap. <laughs> do you have a uh, miss effect right. or no, uh, huh? uh, Karash? Say what? I'm assuming no miss effect. Oh, okay. just no, no. It's all, my next hit. It's just like regular smite or or uh, any of that. Okay. It doesn't take effect until it takes effect. So, it's not a big deal. 
Well, is it a concentration spell until the next hit, or no, is it... No, it's not a concentration okay. effect. It's just I cast it, and the next time I actually make contact, it, it goes off. All right, 18 to hit. That hits. 12 bludgeoning damage, and now I get to do the fun part. Another thing you just mentioned happens. All right, and this is all radiant damage, plus it has to roll against uh, my con uh, a constitution saving throw to not be blinded. Well, it rolled a natural one. Hey, oh! 17 radiant Actually, damage on I, top I, of the 12 bludgeoning. I take that back because it has, well, it has advantage on this check. Aww. For reasons against Aww. blinded, charmed, deafened, frightened, stunned, and unconscious. Uh, ah, crap. <laughs> so with the second one, I still don't know if it makes it. Has... it. It's a 14. Ah, it fails. Okay. There's a lot of heads, I imagine, is why. Yes. So it is blinded. We get advantage on attacks against it, and it gets disadvantage on attacks against us until, it, nice. until it saves successfully against that every turn. End of turn? the next 10 turns. 10 turns. Yeah, end of turn or start of turn? Uh, oh, good point. Um, Thank you. <laughs> at the end of each of its turns. Okay. Got it. I blinded it! Yeah! You did it. <laughs> that it? Yeah, 12 bludgeoning and 17 radiant. Okay. Got all that? And a, and a, a second of the head goes limp. Nice. Uh, Isaac, we go back to the top. That changes my turn a little bit now that he's blind. I was going to do a thing, and I don't need to do a thing anymore. So I'm going to Tom Cruise run away from the Hydra. <laughs> um, it's If you had to characterize it, you would say very cool. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to like God, slide when I get to the end of my speed. I'm going to like slide um, wait until <laughs> I'm come to a stop and kind of like spin around. I'm not going to try to shoot while I'm sliding, but just, you know, add some flourish. If that'd be ridiculous. Yeah, that would be wait. Who would ever do that? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so you uh, are going to take opportunity attacks from this. Uh, yeah, that's OK. I figure at disad disadvantage disadvantage five of them. <laughs> that is a 23 to hit. That does hit. A natural 20 and a natural 1. So okay. that misses. A 3 and a 3. So that misses. A 5 and a 1. <laughs> and a 19 to hit. And these are disadvantaged all? Yeah. That's why I'm rolling twice. Jeez. Okay. Uh, 19 hits as well. Okay. So 2 hit. Two of them are actually going to hit themselves. We'll get to that in a minute because there's two natural ones. <laughs> oh. But first, That's your nice. damage is 14 and 9 piercing damage, so 23 total. Okay. Because, yes, for every head the Pyrohydra has, it gets an extra reaction that can be used only for opportunity attacks. Extra reaction, excuse me. And then I'm going to start... I hate this thing. I'm going to start laying into it now. Um, so It also does... A total of 20 damage to itself. Oh. As two of the heads trying to snap at you as you <laughs> snap Tom Cruise other. run past it end up actually biting itself in its confusion and its blindness and its proneness and all the bad things that are happening to so it. So it kind of worked. <laughs> I mean, it was a, on a, a net gain of sorts, yeah. And you still get to attack afterwards, so it has benefits. Yeah. You have less health than it does, but still a good trade. That's okay. So I'm going to... Um, uh, main attack then with my last grit point uh, and the sharpshooter combo. Mm -hmm. Where? Oh, there we go. Uh, 18 to hit. That does hit. Uh, 20 piercing damage. Okay. Then just a regular old attack. Uh, 20 to hit. That hits. 10 piercing. Okay. Secondary, 20 to hit, Hits. 15 piercing. Okay. Now I'm going to use my action surge, so I'm going to do that whole sequence again, yeah? Uh, just the two main gun attacks. <laughs> two main, okay. Uh, 13 to hit, that Does not hit. misses. <sighs> I'll try, I'll luck. I'll try that one one more time, Chris. Okay, so one luck point down. 27 to hit. Ooh. Does hit. Eight, eight <laughs> piercing. Okay. And my last main. 18 to hit. That hits. 11 piercing. 
and I say, uh, I need to reload now, so let's try to kill it in the meantime, shall we? <laughs> and a third of the head slumps over. Get in there. It's Bubo's time to shine. Oh, Bubo, dang. Go, Bubo. And he just keeps keeps going around. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's observing. It's important. You know, he wants to make sure he's not seeing anything that's supposed to. Bubo he's going to keep his, pulling his weight. He's going to keep his eyes out for any ambushes. You never know, like out of the lava or something. Ah. Uh, it is the pyrohydra's turn. Four of its okay. heads still snapping about, seeming increasingly displeased with what is happening to it. Uh, it is going to... Well, I mean, it's going to do this in order. So first, it's going to try and attack the, the other hydra that's behind it. Uh, that is a 28 to hit, which, I mean, it's an image, so it's it's going to hit. But, of course, as the head goes to bite at its alternate form of itself, it just passes through and then kind of, like, expecting an impact it doesn't get, it kind of jerks suddenly and is looking around, kind of confused. He can't really see to begin with, so now he's kind of like, <laughs> uh, It does, of course, now that it's passed through it, know that it's an illusion, but still... It has wasted that attack now. Um, because this creature is somewhat dumb, I'm actually going to say a second one is going to try to attack it. <laughs> well, it is blinded, so like it can't even necessarily know if it hit it or missed it. <laughs> well, right. I mean, yeah, that's why I'm going to allow a second one to do it, basically, because of the blinding. It would be a 17 to hit, but it doesn't matter. It's an illusion. The other two go after Karash, because it still knows it's next to them. Uh, that is a 22 to hit with disadvantage. Yeah. yeah, it hits. And a 13 to hit. Nope. So, Karash, you take 13 points of bludgeoning damage. Wah, wah. One of the heads comes back to life. It yeah. seems to square up a little bit as and regenerate as well. Like The body seems a little sturdier than it was. So it's still down two heads. But one of them springs back to life, and it will now try to save out of the blinding from blinding smite. What's that? Uh, is it a disadvantage on the save or just regular? Just regular. It's DC 16. Constitution? Yep. Uh, well, it's not cheating, unfortunately, but it is 17, 12 plus 5. We got one good turn out of it. It has good con. I was concerned that that might be the case, but it's too good not to try. Oh, so. Yeah, you got a turn out of it. It was still a turn, two missed attacks. Seems effective. Uh, okay, so that is all of the... Well, I guess I need to see if he gets this back. Hold on. Uh, in fact, I'll just do it in roll 20. I'm in it. Why not? Right, what am I happens. rolling for? And, and Crash, you allowed me to get away mostly unscathed, and okay. I did like 60 points of damage, so that helped too. That is that then, and that goes back to Samwell. No complaints. It's your turn, Samwell. Oh, you're oh muted. she might be muted. Oh no. Muted. No. <laughs> no. What the heck? That was Sorry. it was polite, but then it cost you. Uh, it did, yeah. Well, anyway, I was as I was saying, I'm gonna cast uh, call lightning. Third Man. level and um oh that is twenty eight. Uh is, is it lightning bolts or call lightning? Oh I'm I'm gonna you know cast it and then use the lightning bolt that is to strike him. So the good news is you don't have to roll anything because call lightning is just a saving throw. Oh okay. And Dex one at that, so let's see. Uh so that's far not a bad choice. A twelve. I would imagine your spell save is higher than that. Seventeen. Yep. So it does full damage. Go ahead and roll three D ten lightning damage. Okay. Let me use my little app. You, of course, can put this in a point that only hits the creature because it's so big that even if you just strike it in the middle, nothing else was within five feet of it. Yeah, and that so is 15. Easy breezy. 15? Mm -hmm. Okay, 15 points of lightning damage. And then... And now from a different source. Last time it was sort of from Tessian as lightning coursed through it. Now all of a sudden you see from above just <laughs> this crash of lightning just <laughs> and course through it again. All the heads reel from it. They seem to be okay for the time being, but it does do full damage, all 15 of it. Okay. And then um, is a bonus action. 
on my turn, I would like to give Bardic Inspiration to um, Karash. Do you wink when you do it? God. <laughs> you know, uh, I give a little bit of a sly look, but that's about it. Oh, you nice. Know? I want her to know he's being taken care of, you know? <sighs> Okay. Welcome to the Samwell yeah. Hotel. What what's the what's the D on that? Is it eight oh, or ten? Can, come on now, Samuel, give me the D. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, D okay. I'm sure you're curious about the D. So you have an eight to add to <laughs> yeah. any D twenty basically of your choosing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's it for your turn. Yeah. Uh that brings us to Lena. Yay! Hold on, I'm looking at something. Um not alive. I think I'm going to transform into a silver dragon wormling. Ew. I think it's time. So, uh, I'm going to transform. All right. And then I'm going to walk up to this hydra. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm going to get close. To, as close Are you going to walk up to it or like, fly gonna up to it? I'm going to shake its hand. Are you stomping <laughs> on gonna, the ground with your dragon uh, feet? No, no, I'm going to fly at it, okay. actually. Th that is cooler. All right. Glide, um, sort of. Yeah. Glide, yeah. And sure. then I'm going to use the breath weapon. Or I'm going to try. So, that's just what a fifteen foot cone. Yes. Is so it try to present. Is it con or dex? Oh, it is con though. Eh. Wah wah. That sucks. I mean, but... in theory, you really shouldn't know what its con is, but I did say <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. But it's still good because even if I fail, it still gets half damage. So I'm still gonna do it. Okay. I think it's a good choice. Saving throw. It's an eight. So that, that can't work. That fails. Okay. Good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Uh, it looks like, uh... Oh, you rolled low. Yeah. 13. Another yeah, bad 48, unfortunately. Yeah. 13 with a 1 in there. Uh, Ugh. So 13 points of cold damage. So the rest of you watch as Lena now sort of shifts into this familiar silver dragon form of hers. A smaller silver dragon. It's new, of course, for Samwell, who's seen the bear, but now all of a sudden she rears back into a slightly larger but effectively the same size silver dragon of sorts and then just spews ice all over this pyrohydra. Uh, all the heads still seem to be intact after the attack, but it does seem to do good damage. Not additional. It's not weak to ice either. Darn. Okay. But it does full damage. Anything good. else? Uh, I don't know if I can do anything else. Yeah, that's bonus move standard, so unless you want to move away from it and risk attacks or something. No, I'm good. Okay, Tessian. here. Uh, well, since Samuel is uh, clearly uh, giving Koresh the support he needs, uh, I'm going to help, actually. So I will just sort of pull an Isaac and just sort of roll up, run up to Karash, try to, you know, run as smoothly as I can, and I'm sort of casting as I do, and as I get to him, I will cast a twinned haste on both myself and him. Uh, so he, you're now hasted, Karash. Uh, and then I will use my extra action to disengage and then promptly move outside the radius of the Hydra's uh, attacks. So I'm, I'm doing a drive-by hasting. Yep. Well. <laughs> and with the extra movement that haste provides, I don't see any problem with that. So, so Karash, uh, you feel your metabolism speed up. It's very strange, and now you feel like you can attack all kinds of times because you're super strong and speedy. Speedy, speed. Bye. Anything else? Uh, that's it. Speaking of Karash, Karash. Hey, Karash is gonna mace this beast. All right. Uh, did I want to do that again? Let's get stupid. You have like a billion attacks and bardic inspiration, so I'm hoping you can just end this thing. Uh, I do have four attacks, don't I? Wow, wow, wow. That's yeah. This could be a lot of fun for me. Okay. Uh. Well, how many attacks do you yeah. normally have? Two? Yeah, I normally have two. You feel the love of Samwell coursing through you, too. Don't oh, forget about three. that. Right. Thank you. Well, yeah. Of course he does. Just, a, just like an action from Hayes. Most yeah. importantly, actually. An attack. I'm there. sorry. I have the what coursing through The me? love. The love. Uh-huh. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Christ is learning a lot about his body today. <laughs> yeah. His body, his God. Oh, uh, yeah. He left a successful note. That was cool. All right, twenty-seven, and I'm gonna I'm gonna lay a smite on this beastie. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling twenty-seven hits, obviously. Did you roll with advantage? Oh no, I did not. I mean, so I can. Did, yeah. 
still yeah. blinded, Chris? Or is it okay? No, no, no. It's oh no, it's out of the blind. Sorry, yeah, it's it's no longer blinded. Oh, and it, is it still? It did stand though? up. I forgot to say that as well because okay. it, it didn't uh... move anywhere, so it had more than enough movement to stand. Up. <laughs> it takes ten radiant damage. That was a spell slot burnt. Oh <laughs> god, that hurts. Oh. Ten radiant, uh... twelve bludgeoning. Am I saying that right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's never speak of that again. Uh, and then we'll mace it again. 11 bludgeoning, 25 to hit. The 25 and does hit. Do... Another divine what? smite. It does yeah. hit. You haven't discovered its AC yet, but it's certainly less than 20. Oh my god! 11 radiant damage again. That's not that far below normal. That's just atrocious. The first one was on 4d8. That hurt a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and your final all right, attack? And then one more attack. Uh, 19 to hit. 19 hits. All right. One more for the road. Oh, Crash, no. please hit hard. 12 bludgeoning, 18 radiant. Much better. So, emboldened by the support of your allies, one you... In particular. And the love of your god, Cord, who is definitely still with you and not shaken at all since then. You unleash a flurry of strikes with your mace upon the Hydra, who is still sort of reeling from this, no longer blinded, but still like you know not in the best of shape to begin with. How do you want to kill it? Hey! Nice! With your uh, I'm, three attacks I'm... and your divine smites. <laughs> I, I, uh... Oh, it's got three bodies, right? Or, or how many heads? Uh, so it has five one? heads in motion, although you're... It has three bodies and 20 heads, right? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I know. It's just a bunch of hydras stacked on top of each other. Like it's a Sam's it's Club of nests. hydras. Yeah. There's no formal education in yeah. Clan Mysterio. Uh, I guess you're blind. <laughs> five heads still swirling about of the seven, although your attacks take out one of them in the process. Uh, I am going to, uh, I'm going to attempt to, uh, grab one of the heads down and then just beat the bejesus out of the body as I, uh, uh, as I'm, uh, uh, smiting it. And you do so. You can see him basically like, he's basically got the head like it's a, a hose at a gas station. He's just smashing it over the, the now slumped over and slowly decaying body of the pyrohydra <laughs> as it turns into like this ash-like substance as you're just beating into the ground and eventually even the part you're holding starts to lose its form and C crash 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 you you got it it's dead it's over can't take one of the heads with me i it's pretty large and it's also I... turning into ash you cannot oh. and even that Put pile of ash up. as time has passed is also starting to like slowly dissipate <laughs> crash good job i was going to ask if you wanted me to make you uh a saddle for how much I was carrying you through that fight, but you redeemed yourself at the end. Aren't saddles for horses? Yes, they are. Exactly. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna it was a good, good kill, Crash. Good kill. I'm going to revert you. back to human form and go over to Isaac and cast Cure Wounds because ah. he got hit a lot. Yes, thank oh, you, Lena. Oh, that's right. Uh, and I'm got that pesky little problem. cast it at level two. Okay. I'm just gonna lay on hands for whatever the hell the difference is in my own health here. Well, let's see that out. Ugh. Nine. <laughs> so that's nine. Okay. Oh, uh, twelve. Oh, twelve. Sorry. Oh, tw uh, oh, I see. Yeah, it's three plus the nine. So oh, it's twelve. Okay. okay. Twelve Good. points of healing from her. Thank and you. Crash. I don't know if you have enough lay on hands to fill them back to full, but. Uh, hold on. I got. Yeah, I'm doing math in my head. It's very. I'm down forty one. So. so it's gonna be close. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I have another 12 I can give you. All right. So 12 more. Sweet. Get you back up to a more respectable level. Yeah. Owie. I like that fighter HP though. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing too. Yeah. And the blind. Cause yeah, you didn't want any more of those heads hitting. It also faded a natural 20. So. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Thank you for that. Uh, Tessie does give Samuel a nod, and uh, he's like, uh, good thinking on the uh, illusory hydra there. Smart. Just thinking with uh, multiple heads. 
I like it. It's, it's, a jo- it's, it's a joke where I come from. I don't expect yeah, you to d- understand, though. Don't worry about Tessian. He's not the most uh, best sense of humor around. I got it. I thought it was funny. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, uh, the ashes are still there, or they're dissipating as well? They're mysteriously being blown away by an unseen slight wind. Fine, then. I'll that wasn't going to be the case, except you kept insisting on the head, so Chris is like, yeah, you know what? It's just gone. It's just dust. Okay? It's <laughs> fine. You want me to it's name fine. the dust? Fine. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Uh, okay. All right. Is the uh, I'm 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 gonna start poking at the lava. Is it still solid over there? Yeah. It is not an illusory Woo-hoo! lava. Um, so that's still. Well, you could like when you're poking at it, it is like crumbling and like cracking underneath it. It's just not gonna stay there for much longer. The, the water was a cooling force, but it's nowhere near long uh, enough of a force to keep that lava in check. So, Lena, I have some concerns and. Goatee, feel, please feel free to listen in. Uh, normally, this uh, is not the end of the shrine. There's usually some new elemental force we have to fight. Uh, considering the difficulty of that battle, I am nervous, and I'm wondering if there's any way we can rest and recoup in this chamber. It would appear that's not the best choice, but uh, it makes me uneasy. Isn't there usually a bit of a run before we get to the final chamber as well? Yeah, and yeah, exactly. Last time we rested in that final chamber, though. So we could rest there again. Two. Okay. Sorry. Either, what exactly way. are we anticipating? Oh, uh, yeah, we probably could have clued you in. Uh, normally, there is um, an elemental force, a giant being. In this case, it will most certainly be fire. Uh, and the unfortunate news, the the real uh, ringer on this one is it will actually be Lena. So we will be minus one of us and attacking a friend. Um, yeah, some details for you there. These shrines are tied to a particular element, and the goal is to attune Lena to them as we travel. That process uh, is rather chaotic. Um, Oftentimes she's something of a wild elemental and um, it is up to us to help contain her while she herself contains the power within her. It's dangerous, I won't lie. Sounds like an interesting woman. Oh. Oh, There's more where that (laughs) came from. There's a whole lot you don't know about Lena yet. And we okay. won't be talking about it any further because I am going through that door over there. <laughs> oh, we can still talk. Don't worry, though, Lena. We can still chat. No, no. <laughs> no, she closed the door behind her. She's locked the door. <laughs> Can't hear no, you. I door in the way. By myself. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, no. Oh. As you open the door and step through, you fall off a cliff. Oh. I'm just kidding. You don't. Jokes on you, Lena. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks to suck. <laughs> <laughs> you guys moving on? Uh yeah I'm 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 reloading but yes sure I'm reloading. easy enough to do outside of combat oh I make sure Bubo follows us he can sit right on my right, right. oh can I oh shoot Chris can I I want to give him little pets can I do that will he like him. bite me okay you a are sec- <laughs> a second wind only works in combat right. Or uh, so a second every, every wind short or long only rest? once every short or long rest, so you can use it out of combat. But until you actually take the hour long short rest, you won't have it again. So you could yeah. you, you could burn it now. You just won't have it again until you take some kind of rest. It's probably kind of dumb because there's other benefits other than HP, right? It, it like gives no, you a it's boost. just HP. Oh, but it is it How is a bonus HP action. Are you still which still missing? Uh, thirty. There okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. He yeah, took, he took a few hits. Oh, I was right. I I took about fifty damage in that fight. I'll, I'll, hold on, let's get. But you it was pretty much the only one who did. Well, that's no, not true. You guys all took some from the yeah. um, fire breath. Yeah. Yeah. I've been blinded my light. Um, someone else. Someone else could help with that too. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, do that here in a second. Yeah, I. Will I mean, my also. my it's my spells are already used doing. Chaos. I mean, I can try if it's gonna oh, no, take resources away from you guys. I can try a second win and see where I get. It doesn't really matter would, if I do it an hour I later. Mean, I don't I really mind. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me use my second wind. Uh, so that's a D10 plus nine. Okay. Because your fighter level. Slash Are we not going to just rest? 
Well, not not yet. Well, even, if, even if we are, he should especially use it then. Like, yeah, he should be using it before we rest, 100%. Right, Fair yeah. I was also going to tell you that the longer you're in that room, the more you get the sense that this is not a place you want to stay long term. The fight, of course, goes relatively quickly, six seconds around. So, you know, you've only maybe been in there for like five minutes. You can tell that this, this heat just from being around the magma and the fact that there's really no escape from it. It's almost everywhere around you. Will not make for a comfortable resting place. Um, Chris, you said D10 plus what? For second nine. one? Nine. Oh. Nice. Plus your level. 16. Oh. Oh, okay. That's what the nine is, I see. Yeah. Okay. So it's never going to be a huge amount, but it's always a pretty consistent one that can be used in a pinch or even in a spot like this outside of combat. Yeah. No, that gets me back to 71. So I'm okay. probably fine. I'm only down 13 now, so I'm, I'm fine. Okay. 